coming up on today's episode. guys Gemma here and back again for another retro game hunt this is probably going to be the last one of 2018 and boy what a year it has been you can catch the retro game hunt playlist with hundreds of videos in in the description or go onto the channel and you will find loads and loads of goodies enough for you to get your teeth sank into just like this one I am excited there will also be a massive pickups video coming this week. I spent £400, 400 smackaroonies and managed to snag a holy grail console that I've been contemplating for freaking ages gamers. So whilst you're here watching this video, if you're as passionate as gaming like me, why don't you thump that sub button, hit that like button and share this video to Twitter using the hashtag thegebs24. So I came with my friend Emily, who you saw in the hoodie a minute ago, and Jess was filming on my DSLR with gimbal, so we've got buttery smooth footage. And right as you walked in, this was brand new. Now I suspect that this popped up the Geek Store because it's close to Christmas and we have a Spyro incense. Now how cool did that look? Um, and as we go through this video, you're gonna see way more cool stuff. You're gonna see close-ups, you're gonna see us navigating through the crowds. It was probably one of the busier markets that I've seen at Doncaster. For the last 12 months, I would say I was quite surprised because I expected people to not show with it being quite close to Christmas, um, but I I guess it was a great time for people to go in and buy Christmas presents and what I tended to find was that there were a lot more gifts than usual. Um, now me and Emily were both saying on the way around that there weren't as many boxed Super Nintendo games as you usually find which was quite shocking actually. You will see some and you will see Emily buy a nice really nice condition All Stars Super Nintendo shortly. We got Spyro there again and Jess is just panning us back around to yet more stuff. Now I didn't spend too much time on that store because it was at Eurogamer um, and it sold things like the PS1 coasters, it was some really nice stuff. This stall was really interesting with the carved, um, you got like R2D2, uh, Super Nintendo, um, PlayStation 1, there's loads of really cool stuff and um, some very, very talented people, really, really nice. Um, so shout outs to them. Now a lot of you in this market did stop me and say hi, so thank you, massive shout out to you. I love being able to talk to you guys in person and if you, if you do manage to spot yourself because we will take a look around we're gonna take a good look around I want you to timestamp yourself in the comment section below and let us know exactly where you were and also let me know what you picked up additionally was there anything that you were looking for that you didn't find I highly doubt it let me know in the comment section below Oh yes, teddies, plushies, guys, you name it, it is geek heaven. I believe the next one for Doncaster Market is in March, so you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be there with a wad of cash, ready to do some retro game hunts, but just after Christmas, or rather into January, I'll be doing more retro game hunts anyway, so stay tuned gamers. It is a priority here at the Gebs 24 HQ to do these retro game hunts, it's one of my favourite videos to make along with pickups. I absolutely loved them. Now again, let me know, is there anything you would have bought? If you went, like I said, is there anything you were looking for? Um, with it being Christmas, there was a lot of plushies, like I said. These figures, the Yoshi, the Luigi and the Mario, I have them all. They're actually on my wall in the games room. Um, and they were very pricey, actually. Here they were £30 per figure. That's the big figures on top. Pass them by, A, because I can get them for 20 and B, because I already own them. But nonetheless, it's, I guess, you know, if people wanted them and they were willing to pay that, then yeah, fair play. we got 
controllers, we got Japanese stuff, we got all different kinds of regions, and surprisingly, the Japanese stuff was very, very, we like frequented it a lot in this market. So, massive shout out to the Japanese sellers. Really, really awesome stuff, really nice to see. And this is Jess just panning back around. This was Con your consoles in the far corner as you turn around. This is the glimpse of the market you get. Me and Emily are just there giving Jess a thumbs up as we head down the next aisle. Um, this was actually on our first loop. We did a couple of loops. Um, I like to kind of do a loop, log a few things, if I'm desperate I'll buy it there and then but I will tend to kind of come back. Um, I never ask to, for people to hold anything and I tend not to haggle um, because I think like a lot of people say that the prices are quite high. I think if you look hard enough you can find things at really really good deals. You just have to look and sometimes like this good this good chap here in the blue t-shirt I bought some guides from him and he was just like giving me a discount anyway so shout out to you. He had some great stuff. So me and Emily were shopping away and it was Jess's turn just to kind of glide around and she does a great job at capturing things that I might miss, you know, I like to go back through these videos myself because I tend to contact vendors afterwards and be like, yo, have you still got this such and such a game or yada yada yada. Um, now these are some of the guides, you may get a little glimpse of what I buy here. I got the Tomb Raider 3 guide, the Tomb Raider 2 guide, there were other guides that I picked up. There was a Final Fantasy 7 guide in at £20 which I wanted but not for 20 and I didn't want to haggle because he seemed quite firm in you know it being 20 quid which was fine again let me know if you picked it up maybe you did maybe you didn't um this was a very good stall like I say it tends to be like the smaller stalls like this so stalls that maybe don't have a shop um that you can get some really nice bargains at uh, we got some lovely unbox snes games there we got some nice ps1 stuff um i got i got quite a bit of stuff actually I got quite a bit of stuff and if you're a sponsor of my channel you would have already seen the holy grail console that was put on the uh, sponsor only community chats on YouTube uh, last night, so go and check that out if you're a sponsor, if you haven't seen it. If not, you'll have to wait until the pickups. So we just saw more Japanese stuff there. Again, not just Japanese games, but Japanese consoles as well. Um, some nice NES stuff in. Actually saw more NES stuff at this market than what I'd seen at previous markets. Um, Box snares, you got you saw it there. We're gonna go back to that stall very shortly. That was probably the stall that had the most box SNES games and I got to kind of talk in to the chap behind there and he said that they only buy mint Nintendo stuff, like absolutely mint Nintendo stuff and that's fine. Here I am just buying the guides, we're kind of flicking back here. He would have gave me like a really good deal, I didn't even ask for deals. So again, if you're watching this video mate, thank you very much. Um, again, loads of knickknacks, we've got more plushies, we take a bit, bit more of a look at these. I am actually falling more and more in love with Pokemon by the day. I've asked for a giant Pikachu for Christmas, one of my little presents so I can have it here on the couch in the games room and probably just use it as a pillow actually from when I'm gaming. Um, so Jess is kind of up to the task of finding like I would like it to be about three foot, two between two and three foot. If you have any ideas on where she can get a giant Pikachu from, then definitely let me know. We didn't see any here. Well, in fact, I tell a lie. We did see a giant Pikachu. However, it felt like it was stuffed with I don't know, like concrete. I like, I like peas, like frozen peas. It was kind of weird. It didn't feel very plushy, and it definitely would not have been comfortable to cuddle up to on the games room. Um, but I was taking lots of pictures, as you guys can see. Go and give me a follow on Instagram. There will be more and more stuff all week on Instagram. It's my second favorite social media, guys. So go and chuck us a follow at the Gebs Twenty Four. I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and let's just continue retro game hunting because it's it's freaking awesome.
Jess Clock in the GameCubes there. She loves the transparent stuff. Um, always good to see the Spectrum stuff. There was actually a load of Amiga as well. Like, you don't see Amiga out in the world that often. Um, I do believe there was a 1200, which is the more obscure Amiga release. Like, the 500 is the most common and the cheapest, then the 600. And then you can pay, like, a good couple of hundred pounds for a decent Amiga 1200 bundle. Um, but I will just, I just don't have the room for an Amiga. I have an Amiga 500. But it is in storage and I hate storing my games away, like, I hate it. If I had the room, I'd have a really nice monitor, I'd have it all set up and I would play the shit out of my Amiga because I loved the Amiga. I played it with my friends, Matt and Richard, who were twins that lived on my street when I was growing up, met them when I was nine. Um, rest in peace Richard, God love you. Um, but from now, now and again I do talk to Matt and we always, always reminisce over the Amiga days and the Super Nintendo game uh, days and that makes me freaking buzz. So if you've made it this far in the video, you must be a super fan, not necessarily of me, but of retro game hunts. I could watch this stuff all day, in fact I would rather, rather watch retro game hunts on YouTube than TV. I don't think I've watched television for freaking years, I'd just want, rather sink into this stuff and binge the hell out of it. Um, I've got a nice Sega Game Gear box right there, some figures, there were loads of pops, quite well, I, I said quite less, I, that's a wrong phrase, They're amiibos, let's talk amiibos because I mean I want some amiibos just to go on the wall, not to use, um, and again I've given Jess a list, I want like Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Mario, I have a pink Yoshi and I have this silver Super Mario, I would love the gold, I would love the gold but it goes for a freaking fortune, so if any of you good people are selling one for a reasonable price then do let me know. Maybe I'll run on my Facebook group if you want to go and sling us a DM over on Facebook. Not really my thing, uh, my head is, my face is too thin for caps like that. I wish I could wear caps, but I have a horrible gaunt face. Um, but more power to anybody that bought a cap. I love, I've always loved the artwork, um, and I've always loved the artwork on Sega Mega Drive games. Here are some obscure ones. Prices on that particular bunch, if you want to pause it guys, you can check. Pretty up there, like, pretty darn up there, like, was it like 125 quid for Streets of Rage 3? Um, also, shout out to uh, Nutbean and his wife, lovely couple. He does some blogs, some guest blogs on my website over at JuicyGameReviews.com. Go and check it out. In fact, we've got a blog going out this week from him, so that is absolutely fantastic. Um, and if you actually you're interested in writing a video game review, definitely drop me drop me a message on Facebook. That's probably the best place to get in touch with me. You must have had some experience in the past. You know, send me a sample of your writing, and you can feature on my website. Games, games, and more games. Like when I go to, to, to freaking markets like this, shows like this, I kind of never want it to end. And the less and less my money gets, like I'm like, oh my god, no, I don't want it to end. You know, yes, it's an addiction, but it's an addiction that I'm perfectly happy with. Um, and unfortunately, I think gaming has a lot of bad press recently with Fortnite addiction and people, parents putting kids into their account, into counselling, like back the fuck off okay if they're not committing crime leave them the hell alone let gamers be gamers uh, let me know what you think about that by the way a lot of people have been um, ragging gaming saying that it's too much of an addiction personally I love it and thank god I can afford it as well um, now you may see some really cool stuff here we've got the debugging machines a PS2 PS2 Slim 
and a PS3. More news will come about those later in the week. Now, this is just a nice low shot. Do you like my vans, by the way? Of course you do. And then again, look at these like lamps, Mega Drive and PlayStation 1. Not something I'm in the market for, um, but I admire people's efforts at going to kind of making things like that. Again, loads of knickknacks here. It is pre-Christmas. It is probably the last time any of us here are going to be going retro game hunting before Santa comes later in the month. Cool as F keyrings. I have the Super Nintendo one. Um, I would have bought some more had they not have been like five pound. I thought they were kind of top end. But again, really nice stuff here. I love, love, love seeing stuff like this. Loads of cool little merchandise, keyrings, badges, coasters, stress balls, which were pretty darn cool as well. I actually have quite a few of those things on there that I've just purchased probably over the last six months like that my games room's littered in stuff like that now this guy here again you can see tons of master system it looked like he was selling his collection off which was quite sad like to see you think wow you know you i'm assuming it was your collection but it was so consistent for it not to be a collection so who knows um didn't get anything master system wise and we just got a little wave from sonic there waving right back at you although i don't remember seeing you much um toys toys and more toys really cool stuff we got a boggling there, a bluey purple kind of boggling. Um, and this is Emily buying her Super Nintendo. She got a Aladdin box. She got, look how nice a condition that is. This guy was ace as well. I actually bought a game from him. Um, really, really awesome. And it was this chap here, this stall, that I said earlier in the video only buys like mint Nintendo stuff, like mint. Like I completely love that kind of stuff. Like yes, you think £55 for Donkey Kong, but it is in the nicest case and it is so well protected and everything was complete. Like the, the copy of Zelda there, 120 with all the cheat cards in. Now, I, I own that. But I don't own it with the cheat cards or the tip guide or whatever it was. Um, maybe I'll have to kind of upgrade. And then this chap stopped me. And massive shout out to you. Appreciate it, mates. Um, hope you had a great day. Um, nice touch. I think those controllers looked effing rad hanging like that. Like, that was so darn cool. Um, I also clocked the pink PS2 there as well. If I was in the market for another PS2, I'd be buying that pink one because pink and yellow are my favourite colours. Yes, girly and, uh, you know, cheesy, I know. But that's why my logo is pink and yellow because I freaking love them colours. They're so damn happy. Again, this stall, really nice stuff. Looks like someone was just kind of having an attic clear out to me. That's what it looked like. I apologise if I'm wrong. Um, but some really cool Japanese stuff as well. So I hope you guys have made it this far in the video. And I hope you've seen some really awesome stuff. Please smash a comment below. Don't forget to share this video. Shout out to you, Nick at Vintage Gamer. I've done a retro game hunt in his shop as well. Go and check that out. At Vintage Gamer. It's got the Net Yerosi in the thumbnail, one of the debugging machines for the PlayStation 1. Um, he's a top guy. I'll be going back down to his store again soon. Um, and as I was saying, guys, make sure you share this video to Twitter using the hashtag TheGebs24. I will retweet it for you. I'm, I'll give you a follow back as well. Um, thank you very much. Um, hope to see you in the next one. We got tons planned, um, loads of streams, loads of videos coming up because we do a little bit of everything here, guys. I'm going to let the video play out have a beautiful day my name is Gemma take care love you see you soon